Welcome to game two between Tim and Jaehoon. This is going to be on Neo Sulfid, 12 o'clock location. We have Tim starting as the Teal Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Jaehoon starting as the Brown Protoss. And we'll see, again, I'm expecting Jaehoon to open up with that similar Dark Templar style play. I am curious if Tim is going to adjust this time and maybe go for something like three gate or maybe uh, one gate robo into three gate, something like that. Basically, I feel like you can hard counter if you know that it's coming. And so this might be a challenging match. Speaking of which, Tim sneaking out one of his initial probes. So it looks like he wants to actually go for proxy gateways and play it that way. This is not what I would do against Jayun. Not because I feel like Tim... Really, I mean, you can look at the APM here in the upper right-hand corner. Jayun's... 400 APM isn't just like filter APM either. I've seen him in person uh, and he is just lightning fast. So fast. And none of that APM, like it's all actual actions, which is unusual when you see people that have APM that high. He is fast. And so his micro tends to be very, very sharp, particularly in the early game. So regardless of a two gate, I would not be shocked to see Jayun hold it off just because he's Jayun. He just really does have that incredible a level of micro in the early game. So where I would say other Protoss players of even equal caliber to Jayun would be able to, I don't know. We'll see how it plays out though. So double gate, middle of the map. Tim going to cycle in. Jayun going to see at least that initial probe. I'm going to take the high road. You take the high road, I'll take the low road. In the meantime, Jayun has opened up with a one gate into a simulator build. This is a rampless map. So it is possible that this could just straight out play out, uh, play off. And it looks like it was Cybernetic Core before Zealot. So Tim actually might have some solid shot at this. He's also, keep in mind, scouted Jayun's space right off the bat. Jayun, however, as soon as he micros in, micros in, as soon as he moves in, is going to see immediately a lack of tech, which means he knows he's being proxied. So first cell produced. The other thing he's got to watch for is making sure he doesn't get mana pylon. Doesn't look like he put an anti mana pylon down. He's chasing down this probe, first cell it, marching its way along the way. It's going to greet a zealot in the main, but keep in mind there's two more zealots to follow. No additional. So Jane just going to try to play this with one gate. Now dropping that second gateway, but that feels so late. Probe joining the fray. But this might work out for Tim. The micromanagement might not play. Keep in mind that was a Cybernetic Core dropping a shield battery to try to make this work. Proxy pylon for Tim to maybe drop his own shield battery. <clears throat> Jayun's probe taken out in that exchange. So now it is one zealot versus soon to be three. Third is trailing momentarily. Jayun retreating to his probe line. Now re-engaging. Probe's getting great surround on that Zealot. So one zealot certainly going to be down. Second Zealot charging immediately. The Dragoon now out on the field. And Probe's, yeah, engaging as well. And this is what I was talking about. Jane's just micromanagement is just solid. So with the shield battery, with some micro and pulling the probes off the line, able to turn around and defend. It's not over yet, though. More Zealot's coming. The shield battery is now expended. So this Zealot... Retreating. Shield battery's up for Tim now. Jayun does have double gateways to match that production. Looks like that Zealot's gone. This Zealot gonna turn around and maybe try to join the fray, but it's gonna be two fresh Zealots versus two Dragoons. And again, considering the level of micro that Jayun's capable of, and now three Dragoons, shield battery recharging, it's got a little bit of juice left. So potentially it could end up being four Zealots versus three Dragoons. Third one, now joining. However, there's going to be more shield battery juice on Jayun's side as well. And Jayun continuing to maintain that probe lead. Another shield battery getting dropped from Tim as the Dragoon count continues to increase and the Zealots continue to decline. Two left. And Jayun, yeah, now cleaning things up. One less, one Zealot remaining. That probe has been wiped out. And there's GG from Tim. Yeah, honestly, any other player, I think Tim might have pulled that off, but against Jayun, it's really tough. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Jayun going to move on to the semifinal. And uh, we'll see who he, and I, I believe he joins 
if my brain is working properly, we'll join Striker there. And that will be a fun matchup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.